Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we back at it again, back on the CTS. Today I'm gonna have to pull out the uh, CTS engine. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot easier than the other one that I just did. Now I'm pulling the one out my wagon because I have a, another engine that's gonna go in there. Uh, I have a 6.0 liter stroker that's gonna go in there. So I'm hoping that this one won't go that hard. If any case, I might end up cutting out the radiator support, the top part, because I need to take it out anyway because I have a lot of mocking up to do, but I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna take a look at that and see if I can pull the engine straight up and out. If not, then yes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and I also could weld it back in. So that's not a big issue at all. So anyway, let's get started on that. All right, so I got some of the the main wiring harness out, um, like the where the um, ECU it goes over there in that area over there, and so I pulled all of that wiring off there, and so I'm just going to remove the rest of the wires here. I got them all mostly mostly undone. And then the second thing is to take off all the uh, sensors, coils uh, on this side as well. The only thing I forgot at home, I forgot my fuel uh, disconnector. So I'm gonna have to figure that out or just see if I can go home and grab it real quick and come back. But most of the, the front end is that so I'm gonna get the rest of that out and uh, and keep pushing on check the mic and make sure it sound right boys All right, guys, uh, right now I have most of the wire harness out. Well, not out, it's, it's on the engine, but it's like disconnected from the body itself. And then I had jacked up, not, not broken nothing, but <laughs> jacked up the car to, um, to get to the transmission stuff. And then I had uh, disconnected some more of the power steering and all that good stuff. So 
Right now, I'm going to get the engine hoist, strap it up, and try to pull the engine up and forward because it's a lot of stuff on the back that I, I just can't get to because it's so cramped in there. And I want to try to get it off without breaking anything. So uh, let's jump into that, try to pull the engine up and forward and try to get some of the other stuff disconnected before I totally take it out. So got everything done, cleaned up. As you can see, I even put the uh, the bumper the bumper back on because it was sitting over there on on top of the car. Uh, so yeah, but I got I got the bumper on the engine. Everything is sitting over here, nice and out the way. Uh, other than that, that's that's pretty much it. So the next thing that's on the agenda for the CTX, CTX, CTS, um, getting the engine done, and uh, I, I have a 4L80E transmission that needs to be built, but I'm not, I don't, I don't know if that's going to get done or not. So I'll probably go ahead and maybe even buy, um, buy another one because I, 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 I need it. So. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The uh, most of the engine it, it is complete. I just gotta finish the heads, put the uh, valves and everything in, and uh, I need to order uh, an intake. I probably I want a uh, Texas Speed intake. Uh, might order that. 
and uh, I have the twin turbo intercooler already I'm gonna probably throw that in and take a pick of it and see what it looks like because I kind of didn't want it to show it's, it's aluminum but I didn't want it to show that much so I'll probably end up painting it black uh, sort of hide it a little bit but I don't know uh, I'm not sure until until I start mocking everything up getting it all together uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do uh, as in engine management I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with a you know a, a GM uh, wire harness and ECU and and HP tuners or if I'm just gonna go with a Terminator X or something like that but I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do uh, not not at the moment not yet I mean if I have a preference I'll probably go with the term, term, uh, Terminator X wire harness and uh, engines uh, standalone uh, ECU and everything uh, I kind of want to do that but I, I'm still not sure uh, if I want to get it up and running really fast I probably just go ahead and and get a CTS V uh, wire harness in in a ECU and do it do that so I could just get it up and going I thought about just getting it up and going just on uh, all motor instead of the twin turbo but because I, I did that whole build before where I just built everything and it didn't run right and I should have just did a little bit at a time especially if I don't know what I'm doing it, you know some of the guys that does this every day then they they can put it all together and 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 then start right up and not have any problems um, but with the Terminator X and all that stuff I can actually you know test the coils test the injectors test everything before actually firing a car up so that's that's pretty cool too I kind of I really want that but I also want all the gauges and stuff to work now I know I can still get it all to work uh, it's just nothing but some wiring and figure out what is what because when I did the uh, Chevy S10 um, LS swap it was the same way I did a standalone uh, uh, standalone um, uh, engine wire harness and uh, uh, I'm, I'm just having a brain for it right now and uh, ECU and I started the car up but none of the gauges worked so one at a time we went through and searched out the tag and the speedometer was on to the transmission uh, which was fine because I used the S10 transmission uh, which worked just fine on it It actually bolted right up it was just a, a some kind of little uh, spacer adapter I had to use for a torque, torque converter and um, all the other lights we got it to work the uh, uh, temp sensor the uh, temperature sensor uh, the uh, tachometer we got everything to work on it and then I sold it <laughs> So I probably end up doing the same thing here, uh, just get it all going and, and uh, up and running. And then uh, start messing with the uh, gauges and all that stuff to get it up and going uh, if I use the uh, Terminator X. But uh, other than that, hey guys, please stay tuned. We, we have some more stuff coming up uh, and some more projects coming up as well. Uh, so stay, stay tuned with that. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or whatever the case may be. Until then, I'll holla at you.